Today, let's talk about my absolute, the most favorite feature of Excel, conditional formatting. Using conditional formatting, you can take an ordinary looking report and turn that into a slick and interesting piece of work. In this video, let me introduce some of the advanced concepts of conditional formatting and how you can apply them for various business situations. Let's jump in. Here is a standard sales report from the awesome chocolates. And our first problem is out of all the salespeople's data that I have here, I just want to see who are our top three people and highlight them. The quickest way to do this is select the data that you want to highlight, go to home, conditional formatting, top bottom rules, and then select the top 10 items. Don't worry, we can change this number from 10 to three, and then it will highlight the top three values in red color. If you don't like the color, you can change this to something else. So for example, yellow color or a custom format and then just specify the color that you want. I'm going to highlight our top three performers in the green color. And then when you click OK, you will see the top three values are highlighted. The beauty of all this is it is dynamic. So if your values change, for example, bar Fawny's value is no longer 123,949. He made few more sales, so let's bump him up to 165, 230. Instantly, he becomes one of the top three performers and then gets highlighted and someone else gets dropped out. You can use the same concept to highlight the bottom three as well. So now that we have highlighted top three values in green color, let's highlight the bottom three in red color. I will again select the column from home, conditional formatting, top bottom rules and then add a bottom 10 items rule. Change this to three and then leave out the default formatting as it is. And now you have two rules applied on the data, one highlighting in the green color and another highlighting in the pink color. While this is good, there is a serious limitation with this approach. It can only highlight the column in which the numbers are. Let's say I really want to highlight that entire row because Barfony is one of our top three performers. Likewise, this entire row and this entire row. This requires a different type of conditional format to be applied. But first, let's understand how to clean up this so that we can apply the second type of rule. To start, select the cells where your conditional formatting is. From home, conditional formatting, clear rules from selected cells. That will remove the rules and it will take your data back to the original formatting. Next up, since we want to highlight this entire row, I'll select all my data instead of just the amount column and then from conditional formatting we are no longer allowed to use the top and bottom 10 rules we must now add a new rule and set up the formula criteria the formula for finding top three values is a little tricky so we'll start slow and then build up that formula so we'll add a new rule the rule needs to use a formula so this is the option that you want to select and then here you need to type a formula based on which the value can be highlighted. For example, I want to highlight any person who made more than $150,000 sales. So here my condition needs to be based on column D because column D has my amount. Notice that our data begins from column C, D and E. So our condition will have to have dollar $D and then row number four, so dollar D4 greater than 150,000. Notice that here we use a style of referencing to lock the reference to the amount column irrespective of which cell we are checking to highlight. If you are not familiar with this style of referencing, please refer to the video that is shown on the screen or in the video description to understand a little bit more about the mixed referencing style in Excel. So once you write a rule, you want to set the formatting which will be turned on whenever that rule is true. So we go to format and from here again, we'll just select the green color. You can specify multiple conditions. So for example, here I want to have green color with my font bolded and change it to white color. And if it is true, it will have this kind of an output. We'll click OK and everybody who have more than $150,000 of amount will be highlighted. Again, this is dynamic. So if you change the value, so for example, Carla's value is not 98210, but 198210, that gets highlighted. 
Likewise, if bar sales drop off, it will change. Let's undo those two things so that we can understand the next concept. Let's add a twist to our formula. Instead of hard coding the 150,000 in the conditional formatting screen, let's put that as an input value. So here I will have highlight above and then type any value. So for now we will just type 150,000 and this is the value that I want to use to figure out what value should be highlighted. Again, we will select this cell because we want to edit the rule. We will go to conditional formatting and click on the manage rule. We don't want to add a new rule. We just want to update the rule to read this cell as an input value. This is my rule. You can select the rule and edit it. Alternatively, you can also double click on it. That will open the editing screen. From the edit screen where it says D4 greater than 150,000, I will simply delete the typed in value and then point to the cell that has my input value. When you do that, you want to make sure that this reference is absolute reference. That means it needs to have $H, $4 notation. We'll click OK and OK. Now there is no change in the output because the original condition and the input value are same. But let's just change this. Let's put this as 160,000 and instantly Ram Mahesh gets dropped out. Only these two people are highlighted. While this is all good, our real criteria was to highlight the top three performers by the amount column. So I'm going to delete the rule and then show you how to write a formula that will check for the amount column to see whether it is one of the top three amounts. There are a couple of different ways to do it, but we could use the rank formula. For example, you can use either rank AVG or EQ and then select a number in the range and then specify that it needs to be in the descending order and then it will tell you what is the rank of that amount. So here it's 165,000 is second ranked item in this list. So all we have to do is within the conditional format dialog, call up this rank formula and then just check if the rank of the person is less than or equal to three. So that's what we will do. We will just select this entire range, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula and then the formula would be rank.avg. Here is a hot tip when you are writing conditional formatting with formulas that are a bit complicated. You always want to test these formulas out in the set spreadsheet first and then copy paste them rather than typing the whole thing here. This is because as I'm typing, there is no help available. So sometimes we might make a mistake when you're typing it like that. And then I will select my column D value. It says $D, $4. We just want $D4. So you can press F4 key a couple of times to change the reference style. And then this entire range. Now that needs to be absolute irrespective of where I'm checking. I need to still look at my entire range of D4 to D13. And then last parameter is zero. Once this rank is calculated, all we have to do is check if it is under three. If so, we're going to just fill it up with the uh, green color and click OK. Our top three performers get highlighted. Needless to say, this is all dynamic. So if your values change, it will automatically update. So for example, Chess Bonnell from 149975, bump him up to 159. So he becomes one of the top three and Ram Mahesh gets dropped out. Now that we understood the formula based rule, let's see some of the other options as well. You could use the data bars to add instant visualization to some of the data in your report. So for example, on the units column, I can select the whole thing, apply data bar and there is a gradient bar and a solid bar. I'm not a big fan of the gradient one. So I always select solid bars. So I'm going to select something like that. And you can see what is happening here. It will add a bar inside the cell to show how much that value is. This is a great way to add a little bit of visual pop and wow factor to your reports without any effort. It just takes two clicks. Select the data, turn on the data bar and it will automatically come up. While the default data bars themselves are good, I always like to tweak them a little bit to get better results in my reports. So let's turn this report into something that is eye catching and interesting in few simple tricks. Number one, while the blue color heading here is good, our green color is too strong in my opinion. So I'm going to go select this data, conditional formatting, manage rule and select this rule. 
notice that now we have two sets of rules one for the top three values and then another for the data bar double click on it to edit go to format and from the strong green I will tone this down maybe like that apply so our top three values are like this next up I will select my data bar double click on it instead of leaving everything as automatic I will set my minimum value to be a number equal to zero and maximum to be a number and here we can see that our values are going all the way up to 5925 so I'll type maybe 12,000 you will see what this does to our data very soon and then we will also change the color of this bar from dark blue to something like that so what this will do is it will assume that the entire cell is 12,000 long and based on the value here it will size the bar so that the bar is not taking up the full cell but just halfway through it this way you get to both have the number and the bar visible in the same cell and that makes for a pleasant reading experience the final trick and this is not related to conditional formatting but something that I always like to apply is given this report because the emphasis is on the amount and we have already added the data bar on the units I'm gonna select my units column and reduce the font from the black color to a slightly dull shade of black so that the focus is automatically on this at this point we can even change the top three values font to be bold that makes our report look yummy if you want to learn a little bit more about conditional formatting do check out this video where i talk about five must-have conditional formatting tricks i'll catch you there bye bye